Welcome back to Discipleship 24-7. Hope everyone had a chance to watch the YouTube song, If I Got Jesus by Ben Fuller. It's a great, encouraging song. Um, you know, with, when, you, when you watch the lyrics, read the lyrics, sing the lyrics, um, it is such an encouraging song. Um, I would play it, but YouTube will block it. Because <laughs> when we look at the lyrics, you know, it starts off that if I had a I had a dollar to my name, I had friends that walk away, I've been even lost myself a time or two. There were bridges crossed and burned, but through all the wreckage I have learned, there's one thing that I can never lose. If I got Jesus, I've got all that I could ever need. Take the world away from me and I'll be okay. If I got Jesus, there's a hope that's living deep inside, a joy that could never hide, and a safe place to fall. If I got Jesus, I got it all. Amen. When you look at those words, we, some, we can relate to that. You know, a dollar to our name, friends that walk away, people come and go in our life. When we look at all those things, we can... We could so relate to that. You know, we've been through wreckage. We've been through battles. Thinking that this is not going to work out. Thinking that things are not going to be the same. But when we look at that, if I got Jesus, I got all that I could ever need. Sometimes we end up taking that phrase, if I got Jesus, and replace the Jesus part. Right? Right? Some of us might say, if I got a winning lottery ticket, I'll be great. Or if I got a new vehicle, I would be great. If I got success, I would be great. If I got promoted, I would be great. There's all kinds of things that we could place, like if I got one more drink of alcohol, I would be great. Or if I had one more hit on drugs, I would be great. But in the reality, all these things that we think in the world, the drugs, the alcohol, the money, the fame, the success, you know, all that is temporary. All that does not give us hope. All that masks and cover things up in our life all that just gives us a short time a short moment from reality a moment from world put a pause or a hold on it and the thing is we keep looking here on earth for all these things all these things that that we think that are going to give us hope that are going to give us peace that are going to give us joy or happiness or or success and we end up replacing the Jesus part with these things only to realize and find out that these things that we replace Jesus with do not give us hope do not give us joy do not give us peace the same as Jesus does you know, before COVID and everything, I, I enjoyed going to the movies. The movies were great. You can go see a new movie, get some popcorn, get some snacks, get some sodas, and just sit in a giant room with a big screen and watch a new movie. And the screen's big because it made you feel part of the action, right? It made you feel like you're on the adventure in this movie. And movies were about an hour and a half, two hours. It was great. You walked into the theater, turn your phone off, go see this movie, and you, you kind of felt like you're on a different area, different world, and part of this adventure. And then when the movie's over, it's like, whoa, back to reality, back to life, back to our normal life routine, and we're like, oh, I felt like a superhero. I felt like I was part of the adventure. I felt like I was one of the good guys. 
But the movie's over, lights come on, it's time to go. It's time to get back into the world and it's like, oh, hmm. I forgot about stuff for a minute, but now I'm reminded of things. So looking at the lyrics, if I got Jesus, I've got all that I could ever need. Take the world away from me and I'll be okay. If I got Jesus, there's a hope that's living deep inside, a joy that I could never hide, a safe place to fall. If I got Jesus, I've got it all. And perhaps you're watching this thinking like, you know what, I used to chase money, I used to chase people, used to chase fame, I used to chase alcohol, used to chase drugs, I used to chase uh, false hopes and happiness here on earth. And you know what? The invitation's open to have Jesus invited into your life, to accept him in your life. Because in the song, there's a hope living deep inside, a joy that can, I can never hide, if I got Jesus. So the question is, what are we waiting for? Are we waiting for something to come in the mailbox? Are we waiting for something to, to be dropped on our front doorstep? Are we waiting for something to be delivered? Perhaps. But the invitation is open for you and me to invite Jesus into our life. To rearrange our inside, you know, things that we're doing, things that we're following, things that we're looking at. It's time for us to look and turn to Jesus. invitations there it is the hope and prayer that you and I this week would focus on Jesus focus on Christ focus on the word because reality is Satan's going to do what he can to prevent us from praying prevent us from reading the Bible prevent us from going to church um, preventing us from even fellowshipping and studying the word Satan's going to put things out there things in our life and so it's important that we keep focused turn our eyes to Christ turn our eyes to Christ keep digging in the word Satan's going to do what he can in this in this day and age to ha make us doubt question and replace Jesus in this song for other things Mr. Blake here for Discipleship 24-7, praying for everybody that we would just focus on Christ, focus in the Word, focus on study, look at this song this week again and again, and that we could sing those words and say, if I got Jesus, to realize that if we had Jesus, I've got all that I could ever need. Covering everyone in prayer, that we would just stay focused on Him, and we have just an awesome week and also take this message and share and shine the light of Christ wherever we go. Amen. Have a blessed day, blessed week. Mr. Blake for Discipleship 24-7. We can continue the journey this week. Take a look at the link for the blog in the description box below. Amen.